I knew that he would kind of keep it safe. Obviously, I have to know that he does terrible things. It feels like a beautiful piece of entertainment and a lens on a great story. The thing I thought was that, that what's wonderful about the, the story is that it couldn't happen now because of forensics and all this stuff. And it's about, yes, it's about impersonation and some of those scenes are modern, but actually it is, it's very period. And, and I think the fact that the black and white and um, the music and the references that Steve uses, it, it, it's like using all the, uh, the technology we have to make wonderful films and, and TV. I was so excited by um, getting to communicate so much with micro movements in the face and a look and kind of that thing where you can read someone's thoughts through their eyes and all of that. Um, and getting to, to work with a, a director who was also kind of clued into all of it too and not missing any of it you know he's a very precise director and he was seeing all those subtleties and everything everything was so precise in terms of the cigarette lighters the da -da -da -da, the, the drinks we had the glass you know it, steve's meticulous with that stuff so it feels like a beautiful piece of entertainment and a lens on a great story that actually doesn't have to have a deep relevance to yeah. modern mm -hmm. themes of modern life but um, so I felt I felt like my performance was very seen by him you know in and uh, I knew that he would kind of keep it safe which I think that he has in in all of its subtleties for all of us and just the story in general you know it's it's interesting with it like with any sort of iconic literary character like that people have very strong opinions he's a psychopath he's a serial killer he's blah 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 none of that is of any interest to me really, you know, and obviously I have to know that he does terrible things, but I f really believe that he's not uh, uh, somebody who's naturally gifted at that, that, that kind of stuff. And I think what the, the challenge of it was, how do you make an audience feel like what it's like to be Tom Ripley rather than what we might usually go, which is to, to, to feel like to be a victim of Tom, to, to Tom Ripley, which, is, which is, a, is an unusual thing to do, but it's absolutely why she was one of the great crime writers, because you're willing for him in some ways, in some ways, and at certain times, to get away with it, because he's the protagonist, he's not the antagonist. I think that what's wonderful televisually is that it's very difficult, you know, and we live in the TikTok generation, we live in the Twitter generation, say it, but say it in 15 characters or less, but do it together, blah, 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 blah. And to get a really period feel, which I really think that the, the show has, you have to teach the audience how to watch it in, mm -hmm, to a certain degree. Mm -hmm. And so there's certain times where the pacing is quite, really quite fast, and there's certain times where you think this would take time. And mm -hmm. you have to stay with the agony sometimes mm. of, of, and the thrill and the tension of, of the, when things aren't going right. That's the way life, li life is. And I think that's why well, I think that's a great achievement of the, of the series is that he, he really encapsulates what she was able to do, which is to keep it where, you, where in, a, in literary form you can go and you can describe mm -hmm. something for five pages, yeah, right. which we're unused to doing anymore really totally. on television. Totally. And so it's, a, it's very radical in that sense in, the, in this current age. And I think it'll, it'll be very exciting to see how audience react react to, um, uh, to, to the, the varying degrees of pace within the, within the show.